Hey, Dr. Pompa here with what I feel is another urgent message. Look, headlines read today, Michael J. Fox will never find a cure. At least that was one of the headlines circulating the internet this week. And I don't know that it would find its way to the mainstream media, but boy, I hope that it does. Well, in the article, it talked about why Michael J. Fox will never find a cure. Well, Michael J. Fox did some diet Pepsi commercials through the 80s. And apparently, he became very addicted to the product, used the product himself, uh, to the point where we know that aspartame, the active sweetener in diet sodas and many other diet products and sodas on the market, is a known cause of aspartame. As a matter of fact, many people, many organizations have donated this information to the Michael J. Fox Foundation only to go unread, unheard, unnoticed, whatever, ignored. And unfortunately, the $175 million donated, at least that this article recommends, went to companies that actually make products that are known triggers and causes of Parkinson's disease. You know, so it, this really this subject lies near and dear to my heart because, you know, I coach many people with different neurodegenerative conditions from all around the world. And, you know, I can tell you that many of them have utilized many of these products, um, an alarming amount of them to the point where you know it's a, a link. And again, we know there's a link of heavy metals. It mentioned that in this article to these neurodegenerative conditions like Parkinson's. And I don't think that's new news. I think most people realize that. And if you've watched any of Michael J. Fox's old movies, and I, I saw some of this circulating this week too, when he laughs, you saw a mouthful of amalgams uh, in his mouth. So yeah, it's typically the perfect storm. He was ingesting a lot of mercury that was going right up into his brain. But obviously the aspartame from the diet soda, the diet Pepsi played a major role as well. But, you know, that perfect storm led Michael um, to have this cause. And unfortunately, the research, we're going after all putting the money to what is known to be the cure. You know, we're going to find the cure. <clears throat> but meanwhile, it's funding these companies that really is uh, adding products that are um, adding to the problem and not the solution. So, you know, that's a shame. I believe it is our responsibility to wake people up to the fact that this is a cause aspartame, something that is in so many diet products. And by the way, newsflash, aspartame and these artificial sweeteners are actually linked to obesity. And another newsflash is that they're linked to tumors. You know, this has been known for years. Matter of fact, scientists today still use aspartame to actually trigger cancer and tumors in lab rats. So you might be asking yourself this question, how in the world did something so poisonous and toxic get back, you know, into circulation for people to use today. Well, in 1980, it was actually pulled actually off the shelves because of its link to tumors. And what happened, and I'm not gonna get into all the politics, but Donald Rumsfeld, who worked for the company that produced it, when he came into office, he elected, he brought into a man named Dr. Arthur Hayes. And he was put as the head of the FDA. And one of his first things that he did was brought aspartame back into the market. And by 1983, it was in diet sodas and other foods. You know, look, you know, I, I know it sounds hard to believe and Donald Rumsfeld got a $12 million bonus for making this connection. You know, and you know, here we are today ingesting it. I really don't believe that he understood the harm. I'm sure he was buying into uh, what was said at that time that it is in fact safe. But we, in fact, we know more today that it's not safe and it's driving neurodegenerative diseases. So what do we do about it? First thing we do is we have to remove the cause. Get rid of this stuff. If you know anyone that you love or care about, send them this video. Stop the madness, get rid of the stuff in your life. If you feel like you already have some deficits going on or you know someone that does, look, there's research out there, some of which this article talked about, NMDA, and methyl diaspartate. It's part of a cycle. It's a brain inflammation cycle that we know today can be downregulated. A brilliant biochemist named Martin Paul made this popular. I've taught on it for years now. I've helped develop a product called Epic. You can buy on my website that is really part of downregulating that cycle. I was part of developing another product called Vista with a company, uh, Systemic Formulas, that is an, another brain changer. <laughs> I utilize you know, this product very often with these types of conditions. It's the ratio of fat that matters. I know everyone's out there taking fish oil, 
but the fact is, is too much fish oil actually can cause problems. It has to be specific ratios that actually change the brain. So just a couple of tips there in a major one. Watch my videos on how to remove heavy metals from the brain. There's articles when detox becomes dangerous, three-part articles, watch those. If you don't believe me, Google Simon or YouTube, Simon Dr. Papa. He talked about the dangers, that's my son by the way, he talked about the dangers of these artificial sweeteners and even how to use them for insecticides. Yeah, they're that toxic. So if you don't believe me, watch Simon Dr. Pompa's videos on YouTube and I think you'll get some laughs, but you're gonna learn some information. Get rid of these things out of your life, share this video, that's how we'll make a difference.